Today I thought I could share a project I have been thinking about for a while now. So basically I call it just a small action model. Uh, thinking about these large action models that we heard around this rabbit and all of that mess, right? And basically since GPT-4.0 released the API, I wanted to kind of test out the new vision capabilities by trying to implement this. So I divided this into kind of two phases as you can see here we have the recording phase. And this is, uh, we record screenshots while uh, I do some actions on my computer. So I set this to two frames per second, that should be enough, right? And all of these screenshots will be saved to, yeah, just a folder. And I kind of set the duration here as I will show you in the code. And the next part is kind of what I call the execute phase. This is where we can actually take advantage of the screenshots. So we run them to the vision model with GPT-4.0 and we're going to analyze and we're going to try to understand the sequential order of the actions the user took, right? And we're going to feed that into GPT-4.0 again. We're going to generate a step-by-step -step plan to recreate the user's action. And this plan is, from this plan, we're going to generate a code that again can try to recreate these user actions. And then we're just going to execute the code. So the code gets saved into its own uh, file name, right? So we can save it if you want to and recreate these small actions. So basically, I just think we're going to go over to the code and I'm going to show you, kind of go through it, how I thought about this. We're going to do some few tests. And yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. And it's not going to be the longest video, but uh, yeah, hope you find it interesting. Let's walk over through some of the function we actually need to make this happen. So you can see the first function I want to highlight is kind of the screenshot function. Very simple setup. We set the interval. So remember, I said two frames per second. So this is kind of, if I put one here, that's one frames every second for 15 seconds. And if I put 0.5, that is, of course, going to be two frames per second for 15 seconds. So that means we have this 15 second window to kind of record our actions, right? And that is just going to be saved to, uh, yeah, I can just show you here. So you can see this is my folder. Here we have 21 screenshots of some actions I have been taking. Uh, but we get back to that. We're going to encode this to base64. And then we come into kind of analyze uh, image function. This is going to look at the folder I just showed you. And use actually the GPT-40 model to... Uh, analyze just what is happening in the image. So I'm just going to do it as simple as that. Uh, but remember, we are going to go through every single one of these images to get kind of the full base 64 encoding. So we can kind of put everything together to find out the sequential order of this, right? Uh, so we want to kind of want to sort this, and but I'm not going to spend too much time going through that. And the next part is the generate step-by-step -step plan function. Of course, we want to to generate a step by step plan to generate these actions. And this is going to be based on the results we get, right, from the analysis, from the sequential order of the images. Uh, I also added a function to clean generated code because we al always get this weird stuff. So I just wanted to remove this when we actually, just so it's easier to save the code we get, get to recreate our actions, right? We have a very simple GPT-40 chat function here. Uh, so you can see you're a professional software dev with expertise in Python. Your task is to generate Python code to recreate the user's action from a step-by-step -step plan. Generate code uses uh, OS, controls the computer, mouse, keyboard. Uh, you have control of the user's PC. Uh, I don't want to use like Selenium and these libs for the browser if you want to go into that because we have the option to kind of go to our Chrome, right? So you'll kind of see that in action. I just set some parameters here for our uh, GPT-4 OSHAT function. And the main part is basically pretty easy. We add some sleep at the beginning of the... Um, so we get time to kind of get ready to record our actions. We're going to take the screenshots. We're going to save them to a folder called training. Analyze the images. Print the analysis. Go into the step-by-step -step plan. Uh, feed in the analysis results as args and print the plan. Then we're going to generate uh, our Python code using a GPT-4 OSHAT function. So you can see we feed in the plan here from, uh, yeah, generate plan part. From the user's action above, generate a Python code that recreates the same actions. 
And I just, uh, yeah, I don't want any extra, I only want the code, so that seems to work pretty good. And we kind of print out, the, yeah, you can see we run the code through our clean code function and just print out the code and save it to action.pyrite. And that is basically it. Uh, I found out that this is working pretty good. So now let's just do a few examples. And I kind of wanted to leave this code ready open so people can work on this to kind of build on it, right? That thought that could be pretty interesting. And if you want just access to this, uh, just become a member of the channel. We had a few discussions today on the Discord about, yeah, around these capturing images, video screenshots. So a lot of good value in the community Discord that you will also get access to if you become a channel member, uh, additionally to the GitHub community. But yeah, now let's do some different tests with this and see if it works. Okay, so when we run this now, of course, I'm just gonna do yeah some pretty simple stuff. Remember, I set this to 15 seconds, so we don't have all of that time. So yeah, I'm just gonna run this, just close this and just start doing something. So let's go to the start menu, let's do Chrome maybe, okay. Let's go to google.com, let's find a music video, so Taylor Swift maybe, down bad. Okay, let's click on this. Okay, better stop that and hopefully now this is gonna create a code that can recreate the steps we just did so if we go back here and let's just let, let this run for a while when we can actually see the plan and stuff now okay so here you can see we analyzed all of the images and you can kind of see went to google typed in taylor swift kind of down bad clicked on it, got to the YouTube video here, right? And here we have the generated Python code, so you can see that. We can also open the code here, let's reload it. So you can see it is in, uh, yeah, kind of uh, good format here. Now let's try to run this. Okay, so let's run this, so you can see, yeah, I'm gonna put my hands up here. So the first step was to go to Google, let's uh, go to Chrome, right? Then it was google.com. Perfect. Then we put in our name of our YouTube video. So Taylor Swift down bad. And the last part is has to be to click on this video. Yes. Perfect. So I guess this was a good pass and it kind of recreated all the steps we did in our recording phase, right? So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that is what I wanted to share today. I'm just gonna leave this totally open if you wanna try it out. I haven't really explored too much what actually the capabilities of this are. I'm sure there are a ton of improvements you can do. But yeah, if you wanna try it out, yeah, like I said, become a member of the channel and I will put this out there. And be cool if you can report back in the comments if you have any ideas around this, what we can use it for. But uh, anyway, that was my small action model. Uh, yeah, kind of fun project to be honest. And it's a framework that we'll, we can build on when we get access to the voices and maybe some local vision models that can do this. So that's going to be quite cool. But anyway, hopefully see you on Sunday. Have a great day and yeah, bye bye.